This is the Archer's Choice. Back there. Welcome to this week's and Archer's release. Choice. This week, we're going hog hunting <laughs> with Happy Kempfer and Oslo Outfitters, and we've got a full packed show of hog hunting, do we not? We do, we're loaded with hog hunting. We are, and you need to look for the Mad Dog Lucky logo this week, and... And right now, we are preserving our future. Right, so let's just get into your hog hunt first. We'll let you go first this week. It's about time. Yeah, okay, don't forget Mad Dog Lucky logo. Okay, bud, your Good turn again. You're doing great, RJ. Get that release on there. Perfect shot. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Stay. Did he go down? See him. Oh, I see him standing there. He was I can see the blood pouring out of him. Oh, yeah, baby. That was awesome. I took that poor quarter in a way. We've given him a little bit of time. He's right over here. I think he's down. He's down right there. Hop. Good job, yeah, buddy. baby. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna tell you something. We're here. Thank you. It's January what? Eighth or Eighth? ninth? Eighth, Eighth or ninth? It's, ninth. it's January 9th. We're down here in Florida with Osceol Outfitters, as usual. Happy Kempfer. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> we came down a little early because of Shot Show. Uh -huh. And we are having a blast. The shot placement gets so, so critical because. Here's your vital area. Now, if you take that, the shot I took, he was quartering away. My entrance is right here. It's right here. My exit is right down here. So entrance, exit is coming right here. Boom. Here comes the truck. So we're gonna load him. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. It's so cool with today's kids stuff. It is, and I think actually Marv, who's gonna be hunting up next, might want to look into maybe new yeah. equipment. Maybe I think kids. he solidifies or he proved to us that, you know, cats have nine lives and hogs, well, they have more than a few with, with Marv shooting. It's hog hunting time. We're down here with Pat and Hoppy with Osceola Outfitters. Um, we're in here trying out the new Choice Blind. Um, down in central Florida, it's been really, really hot and dry down here. Uh, we're sitting just off from a cypress lake out there. Hogs are probably in there staying cool right now. It's getting towards evening, um, but any time now, we should get a few hogs coming in and have some pretty good luck tonight. Hogs coming up on the right here. Perfect with the wind. That one black one that I seen. And a mix. Both males. Thank you. 
This blind's obviously doing its job. We just set it up about three hours ago. And this hawk is at about eight yards right now. And he's oblivious to us. Did he really? Yeah. yeah. Okay, I just redeemed myself. Um, I put a pretty good hit on him. Um, he stood out in the field quite a while. He just got into the palm meadows, so we know right where he went in. And uh, we'll give it a little bit of time, go check him out. Um, but thank goodness. And we're out of the woods. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy. Believe me, I'm happy. My first pig. And you know what? I'm happy. I think Hoppy and Pat, Osseo Outfitters. Time for this week's Bow Hunting World Magazine Tip of the Week. This week's Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week is setting up a shop. And setting up a shop with today's innovative high-tech stuff to make you actually a better shot. One of the things is your hooter shooter. Why a shooting machine? It's real simple. It takes the human error out of it so you can tune in your equipment for time, cam timing, for arrow flight, for everything. The next thing you want for your now high-tech shop is the Last Chance Archery Power Press. Why? For years you've seen us always using the crank press and with all the different, the parallel limb designs and everything, this press does it all, but it does it all <laughs> automatically. Is this cool or what? Okay, two other things is the RS bow vise. Why? It allows you to set up, you can set up at a perfect level, a 90 degree when you set your loop or your knock, and this thing is your third hand that we always wanted. Last but not least is staying organized. Plano makes a, a, a new setup here that just works so great, because you know how many times we grab tools, we throw them, we don't put them back, and then the next time we're trying to find them? Mm -mm. Folks, setting up that shop today has made it way much easier and higher tech. That's your Bow Hunting World Tip of the Week. It's Joey's first spot and stalk hog hunt. Let's see how he does. Stay low. There's the one I want. Look at that boy. Oh, 
She's getting weak. You got it, baby. <laughs> oh, oh, man. Ozzy, hold out, baby. Oh, this pig hunting is a riot. Ralph and Vicky told me this is something else, and you don't know it till you try it, man. Yeah. You gave it time. Sun setting. There's Joe's hog. <laughs> His Osceola hog. Let's go get Bring him. it home to bacon. Oh, oh, that's gonna be some good eating there, buddy. If you've never shot a hog and you don't think it's worth coming down or going and shooting a pig, you're wrong. This is something else. Appreciate Hop letting us come down here and do this. And uh, Ralph and Vicky have been talking to me about this for the last year, saying how awesome this is, but you don't know how fun it is until you come down here and you get out stalking these pigs. It is something else. Thanks it's hog buddy. heaven. <laughs> Congratulations, buddy. Thanks. He's loaded with pigs. Deer, right no, after I, we shot it. Yep. I want you to know that uh, this is your first Florida hog. You got to pack them back. Okay, okay. I can handle that. I thought oh, it was going to be something. The other thing. <laughs> oh, yeah. The other thing? You got to do all the work. I'm out of here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you don't have a good guide, you know? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> no. Good shot, buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks. That, I think the hog went... 50 yards. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. <laughs> what are you doing? That's RJ's bow. Look at you. It's the same draw length. It now is you, you and your wife and your son all have the same draw length. Now let's join Furnace. He goes hog hunting and you'll see just how efficient bow hunting really is. We have a couple of boars coming across this way. They're, uh, they're pretty close to us now. Just wait a few more minutes, they should be right here. in this blind at all. No. Now let's go join Donna and I as we go shopping for that other white meat. Well, Vicki and I are at Osceola Outfitters hunting this afternoon, waiting for the pigs to come in. Some girls go shopping, we go hunting. Good job.
<laughs> Good job, Donna. Look at you. <laughs> Would you like me to carry you both? <laughs> I'm kidding. I'll help you drag the hog out. <laughs> well, this was a great hunt, Vicki. I just want to thank you again. You know, we've been friends for a long time. And I was just thinking about things. And like I told you, we've known each other a long time. And I've never gotten to hunt with you. This was something I wanted to make sure that we did together. So thank you so much for being with me this afternoon. It was a great hunt. I've got a nice meat hog, exactly what I wanted to get. And uh, I just want to say thanks. Well, thank you for allowing me. That's mm -hmm. what friends are for, right? Absolutely. Welcome back to the Archer's Choice. Now what? Let's watch Mom watch through the hog. There you go. <laughs> Actually, we're gonna go right down this fence and right down into those dark trees. This is what we call the pit. The pit? Do you think it's you could find a small... Hog pit. I gotta find one. <laughs> I have an HS one back at camp. I'll, I'll give it to you tonight. Is it for a big way. game like this one? This is the big game. This is the big game wind checker. Vicky, we've waited about 20 minutes. Normally, you know, you you know as well as I do, 30 minutes before you go look, even if you know it's a but good hit. But that looked hit. like a good hit. It was a good hit. We heard a big crash over there. Um, could have been the other hogs going out, but Dude, I, I mean, don't I, think I, I don't, so. That, I mean, that, that, that hit looked he real took, good. He took a good hit, so should we go out there and look? Yeah, okay, let's go look right Okay. There. He's laying right there. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, yeah. Well, he didn't go far. He didn't go 20 yards, maybe. Wow, that's a good pig. Nice one. About 100 pounds. That's a nice pig. He's even oh, got yeah. some. Smelling. He's oh, got some chompers on one. him. And I hit that opposite shoulder is what I did. He didn't go 20 yards from where we, from where he was standing when I shot him. Sure hope you enjoyed this week's hog hunting. And we have to especially thank who? Uncle Hoppy. Uncle yeah, Hoppy and Oscar Outfitters. For sure, because he's got them covered up with hogs. He does. And we hope you looked for the lucky logo this week. It was Mad Dog. If you found it, you need to go to huntingnet.com slash archer's choice. Fill out the information. Let us know where you saw it. And someone's going to win a bunch of Mad Dog goodies. Someone's going to get some surprises, for sure. That's right. So we hope you enjoyed this week's show. We hope you come back next week also, same time. Same channel. Right here on, on Archer's, Archer's Choice. Choice. Good there job. All righty. There you here, go. Let's pull your arrows. arrows.